Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Tineco Floor One S3 Coolest Vacuum and Washer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the product, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and really why if you are in the market for a floor washer and vacuum in one, then this should be one to consider. But what I want to do is to, rather than just showing you the product, I do want to give it a demonstration, show you on a different, couple of different floors as well. But all I'd normally say is, just before I start, is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a, a thumbs up. What I do is I normally talk about things like cordless vacuums, I specialise in, I do talk about other household appliances. So just give us a subscribe and then we'll carry on. There are quite a few manufacturers that make floor cleaners, so it's not unique in that sense. Uh, but what does make this unique is that it's cordless. Uh, there are very few manufacturers that are making a cordless floor cleaner, so I'll be really interested to try that out. And the reason I mention that is because, personally, I think the days of having to have a vacuum cleaner or floor cleaner with a mains cable behind it, that's long gone. And if you followed me on my YouTube channel for a while, then you will know that I'm quite, a, quite an advocate of the, the cordless concept. A bit about the cleaner itself. Uh, on this model it has a maximum runtime of up to 35 minutes. Now of course that will vary uh, depending on the surface that you're on. Uh, also uh, if you're using it for, for the washing side it can depend on the amount of liquid that you're sucking up. Uh, but on this model it does, as it says on the box here, it features something called iLoop Smart Sensor technology. And um, basically what that means, and on the display here, and I'll show you this in a moment, um, it will actually adjust the suction depending on what is actually being sucked up. Um, and again, I'll give you a demonstration of this. Uh, but what that means is that it doesn't always run at the very highest suction. Um, so the advantage of that is it can save on the battery. So rather than having a reduced run time, if it runs at a uh, reduced, say, minimum suction, and then when it gets to a dirty area, it will increase the suction to cope with the demand. Uh, that kind of concept uh, does work really well. I'm not sure if you've seen one of my other videos. Uh, I did review one of the other Tineco vacuums the other day, and to be fair, I was really, really impressed, and it uses similar technology. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, then just pop over and have a look. I'll post a link here. And if you just want to use it as a normal vacuum cleaner, then you can do that. Uh, all of the dirt will be stored in here. I suppose for the majority of people, what they'll do is they'll actually use this as a floor washer. Uh, you've actually got two sections in here. So you've got the clean water tank and you've got the dirty water tank. So first of all, what you need to do is to fill the clean water tank up. And it is really good at giving the instructions. So just on the, the side here, it will recommend to uh, fill it with tap water and maximum uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees centigrade. Uh, and then pop a cap of the Tineco solution in there. Uh, that does come with it. So you do get a bottle of this, the deodorizing and cleaning solution. So the water doesn't have to be hot. Uh, what you can find is it probably can dry a little bit quicker uh, if you're going to put warm water in there. Uh, but it, you know, again, it doesn't have to be boiling hot. So all you need to do is just go to the tap, fill it with warm water, put one cap of this solution in there, and it has got a level on the top there to show you where to go to. And then all you will do is you'll pop that in there. And then as far as the dirty water tank, uh, as far as the capacity is on these, I know this one looks a lot bigger, and clearly it is a bigger container, uh, but the top one is 0.6 litres capacity, and the bottom one, despite it looking bigger, um, it will give you a recommended 0.5 litre capacity for the amount of liquid. And hopefully you can see on the side there that it does say to clean the DWT or the dirty water tank after each use. Uh, and all that will do is that just prevents smells coming from, from there, especially if you only use it on the odd occasion. Uh, but what you've also got, you've also got the HEPA filter in the top here. Now with any of these filters, so they are all washable. Uh, what we always recommend is that after you've washed the filter, then just make sure it is completely dry before you go and use it again. Uh, and what I normally say, with again, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, then you'll you'll know I do normally recommend to go and buy a spare filter, just so if you go and wash this one, then you can still use the other filter while it while the original one that you've washed is drying. 
But fortunately, what Tinica do is they do actually provide you with a spare one as well. Uh, as far as cleaning it, uh, to be fair, there's not a huge amount to do. You can actually take this apart, so you can just take that out and just give a little a rinse under water just to make sure it's nice and clean. And again, just in here, you can just give that a, a rinse just to make sure that's nice and clean. And as it says on the side, it is recommended to clean it after each use as well. Uh, but for the purposes of using it, so I want to pop the filter in there like that. But after you've got that back together, then that just clips in at the bottom and then you're ready to go. So I'll just quickly show you the display on here. Uh, but first of all, if you want to use it, then you've got the buttons on the top here, just on the handle. So you've got the on and off button here. That's the first one. And you've also got the auto or max option. And the reason it shows this, so the automatic option is, I suppose, the main one that we'd recommend using. Um, what that will do is that will actually adjust the suction of the vacuum. So depending on the uh, say amount of liquid that you've got spilt or if you want to clean the floor. Uh, whereas the max option, that will just go to the full power. Um, although the actual suction on it might be better in the short term, you will find that the battery won't last quite as long. So personally, I'd recommend trying to use the auto option. Um, and then, so I'll just show you this. So first of all, you'd press the on button. Auto mode. So I know you probably couldn't see that quite clearly, uh, but the vacuum actually talks to you, which I think is fantastic. And what the vacuum was telling me is that I need to, uh, basically that the, the tank is empty, so I need to put some water in, which is what I'll do in a couple of minutes. Uh, but hopefully you could see around here that there was a blue light. And really what that's showing me is that everything is clean at the moment. Uh, but if you just wanted to use it as a normal vacuum cleaner, then that's how you would use it. So you just press the on button on the front, and then you just vacuum away. Clearly you don't need any water in there if you're just going to vacuum. And what you could, hopefully you saw on the front there was a number, that's 98. And what that's telling me is that's the percentage of battery that is left. So it's not necessarily the minutes remaining. So that's saying at the moment there's 98% of the battery because I have fully charged this. Uh, and that's a really good, uh, it's a really good clear indicator. Uh, so you do know when it needs to be recharged. Uh, also there are some other indicators on there. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to, to, to show you at the moment, uh, but I'll hopefully show you when I actually demonstrate it with some water on the floor. Uh, but what it also does is it will show you if there are any blockages uh, if anything needs to be cleaned. So it's a really nice, clear LED display. You have got another option on here, uh, and this is part of the cleaning routine. So clearly when you've done the vacuum in itself and you've used the floor washer, then at some point you are going to need to clean it. And that's using this button at the top here. And what you do is you, you actually put it back on the dock. So at some point you are going to need to charge the vacuum and you do get to Clearly you're going to get a charger with it. And it's just a standard charger uh, that plugs into the back of this base. Uh, the vacuum itself sits on this and it does serve a couple of purposes. Um, first of all, it's really nice just somewhere to put it. Um, also, if you have used it and if it's a bit wet, then at least, at least you're not putting it back onto your floor uh, or carpet, wherever this is stored, at least you've got somewhere to put it. Um, also, there is a self-cleaning routine. I'll cover that after I've actually done the, the vacuum and just show you how it cleans. Uh, but as far as maintenance on here, as, as I mentioned earlier, there's not a huge amount to do. Uh, what you can do is you can actually take the brush roller out. And all you need to do is just pull the front off there. So that's nice and easy to come off. And when you actually want to take the brush, the roller out, that just pulls out like that. And I do really like it when it's nice and easy to take things apart or to maintain them. Uh, what it does is when it's easy to do, then it means people are a lot more likely to do it. If you have to start getting a screwdriver or coin out to start taking bits apart, then 
to be fair, people are not going to not going to be inclined to do it. Uh, so what you also get is you do get a spare roller with it. So if you have got one that's quite dirty that needs a good wash, then you can just swap them over. It just means it's a, a lot less hassle for you. And then when it comes to putting it back in, it just slots in on the right hand side. Uh, just locate that on the top there. And all you need to do is just locate it on the front and then it just all clicks back into place. So a really nice, simple idea. So as far as the accessories go, uh, clearly I've mentioned the roller that comes with it. You do the cleaning solution as well, and you get the spare filter, which is always a really good idea. Uh, but what you also get is this cheeky little tool. Uh, this is a cleaning tool that helps you clean mainly around inside the bin. Uh, but one other thing that this is really good at and it's something other manufacturers haven't really cottoned on to, is it comes with this as well. And what this is designed to do, it's a very small blade at the top here. Uh, it is encased within the plastic, so you're not gonna hurt yourself with it. Uh, but the idea with this is when you, get the, when you take the roll head out, clearly if you're using it uh, in a household where you've got family members or animals with long hair, uh, then they could get wrapped around hair. So what this is designed to do, is to, if you sort of drag it across the side here, uh, then that's really designed to cut the hair and just make it a lot easier to take off. It's a lot safer than having to get a knife, uh, which some people tend to do, to drag a knife across hair, and also saves damage in the head. So that is included with it as well. So what you can also do is to actually download the Tinico app on your phone or tablet. And what that will do is that will give you information about the floor washer itself. So what I want to do is I'm going to try and do that just to show you how easy it is. So I have downloaded the app already and all you need to do once you've opened the app is to click add device. And what this is doing, this is asking me which product it is. Uh, so as you can see that they do make a range. So Tinica make a good range of products. You've got coolers, vacuums, hard floor cleaners. They make hair dryers and other accessories. Uh, so we'll go for a hard floor cleaner, and that's this one, so it's the Floor 1 S3 series. Just click that, and what we need to do, so it's saying to remove the application from the charging dock and press the button to make sure that the battery is suffi sufficiently charged. Well, I know that that one is okay. And position the, the barcode, so I need to look for the barcode on the back of the product. I found that and um, press and hold the Wi-Fi button so just on the back here uh, it's probably a little bit small to see from there but you've got a, a button on the back here and that's the Wi-Fi button so press and hold that for three seconds and then once you do that then press next and then it's just asking me for my Wi-Fi details and all it's saying at the moment, so it's just, uh, this is devices initializing. So it, it just takes a couple of minutes to initialize. So now it's connected, uh, that just took a couple of minutes. And it's asking me to name, so I can call it what I want, uh, but I will keep, keep it as Floor 1 S3 series. Just press the start button. And what this is doing, so clearly there's, there's nothing registered on here at the moment. Uh, but first of all, it's showing me the time that I've actually used it. Um, and also it's saying the, the, the amount of water that's been saved. So what I want to do is I think really the best thing is to let's give the vacuum a go. So let's get going. So as it said, the first thing is to get a cap full of the cleaning solution. And we'll just pop that into the container. Uh, it's quite nice you don't need to use a huge amount. Uh, it does mean that the original amount of liquid that you get, you, you know, that'll, that'll keep you going for a while. Uh, but after that, so once I've put this solution in, then we'll put some warm water in. So now I've filled it up, so we're up to the maximum line. And then you just need to make sure that that's shut properly. Uh, and then just go and pop it on the vacuum, and then we're ready to go. So what I want to do, uh, as this is the first try, um, I've put the cleaning solution in here and really to start off with I just want to clean an area of the floor 
this is just a, a wooden laminate floor. Um, what are, I suppose some couple of things to note are that it is a, a really nice lightweight design. Uh, the handle itself is a, a nice, easy to grip handle. Uh, so even if you do suffer with you know with your hands, if you had things like arthritis, then it's a nice, easy grip handle. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, you've got the on and off button on the front. So let's see how we get on. So look, I know I've only done a really small bit, it's just the, the corner of the kitchen here, uh, but that's really easy. Uh, I have tried others before, other makes, and to be fair, they're a, uh, a lot more difficult, they're a lot heavier. So as you can see here, um, I've just put a little bit of milk down. Uh, what I'll do is, hopefully I'm going to try and demonstrate the uh, auto option. So this is using the iLoop sensor technology. And let's just double check to make sure that this works okay. So just pop it on. Shutting down. Power off. So that's done that really easily. And hopefully you saw around the display that it changed from a blue to a red display. Um, also the suction did increase and that's part of the the ILU technology uh, and what it did is it actually increase the suction because it detected that there was a dirty area. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll actually go onto a different floor surface just to see how we do. So what I'll do now is actually try it on a tiled floor as opposed to a laminate floor. Um, similar concept uh, I've got to put something else on the floor here, we've got some hair on the floor. Um, the reason I try this is because some vacuums, uh, some other floor cleaners really struggle when it comes to getting hair up. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, just keep an eye out on the screen, I'll try and keep this in view, uh, just to see how the eye loop technology is working. see uh, to be fair it did take a couple of goes but there was a lot of hair down there um, and hopefully you saw on the display that it did change from blue to red uh, that basically meant it did increase the power to cope with the demand of the extra suction that's needed so this is another one that I want to try uh, I've put a, quite a lot of water down uh, there's around half a pint of water here uh, so I really want to give it a good go because that's quite a quite a spillage and again, I'll use the auto mode just to see how it performs with it. Shutting down. Power off. So, really, really impressed. Uh, again, hopefully you could see on the display itself when it, it did really increased, uh, you could hear the suction increase as well. So I think what I'll do now is I'll uh, try three demonstrations. Uh, there is actually quite a bit of hair around the roller brush, I can see that from where I vacuumed it up. I'll just show you how the self-cleaning mode works. So now that I've done a bit of a cleaning of the floors, um, as you can see at the bottom here, I'll just take this off and there is a lot of dirty water um, with the amount of water I've got in here so it's almost up to the maximum line where I'd need to empty it so that's really easy so all I need to do is just take the, take the top off 
Uh, you can see in there that I've got a lot of hair that just needs to come out. Uh, but that's, that's fine, nice and easy to do. So then once you've actually emptied it, uh, I'll just give it a quick rinse out and then just pop the top back on the hair. And so now I've put that on the front, then what you have got, is, as I mentioned earlier, is a self-cleaning mode. Now it's a button on the top here, and what this will do is this will help to clean the brush at the bottom. Now to be fair, I've only used it for, it's probably four or five minutes altogether, uh, but let's give it a go. Start self-cleaning. And what this will do is it will go, as it says, it's, it's actually telling you what it's doing. So it's cleaning the brush roller. And all you need to do is make sure that it's sitting on the base, so it's not damaging the floor at all. And then when, it, fin and then when it finishes the program, then it will let you know. So you can see at the bottom here that it's actually filling the tank with the water. So it's taking it from the clean water tank through to the dark water tank. And personally, I love things like this. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic because what it's doing is it's an automated process. Um, if you needed to do this manually, then to be fair, a lot of people wouldn't do it. Um, as I just mentioned, it goes through a deep cleaning process. I know you can't see it, but on the display it's actually showing you what it's doing, it's showing you the process of it. Self-cleaning cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. So now that the program's finished, uh, to be fair it took probably a couple of minutes to do. Self-cleaning cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. And what the vacuum's telling me is to take the dirty water out, so it's to yeah, as you can see, that's the amount of water it's used uh, during the cleaning process. That's not a problem, because that saved me having to do it manually. So all I do is I just get rid of that water. Again, give it a quick rinse out, uh, just to make sure it's nice and clean for, I suppose, popping in the cupboard or until the next time you use it. So as I mentioned earlier about downloading the app on your phone or tablet, I'll just quickly show you this. Uh, this is just some of the information that is on here. So as I mentioned, I haven't used it a huge amount, uh, but what it's showing me is first of all that the uh, cleaning status of the vacuum itself. Uh, as far as the battery, that's showing me that at the moment it's at 89% charged, so I've not used it a huge amount. Uh, it is on charge at the moment, so I can tell that it is charging and it's got 28 minutes until it is fully charged and also that the clean water tank and the dirty water tank are okay. If they need a cleaning or emptying, then it will tell me via the app. You have also got the option. Voice prompts disabled. So if you didn't want the voice prompts on here, because the, the vacuum is very, very good at telling you what to do. Uh, it's just helping you rather than having to refer to the instructions all the time. If you didn't want that, uh, then you can turn it off or on. So voice prompts on that's enabled it again and also you can if you want to you can set the self cleaner mode from the app uh, clearly I've just run that through the vacuum so I don't need to do it again so a really really useful app and it's something I'd highly recommend doing if you do buy one of these vacuums also via the app it will actually tell you how long you've used the vacuum for uh, so it gives you the, uh, the number of times you use it over a day week or month uh, also it tells you how many minutes you've been using it for uh, the amount of litres of water you've used. So there's a huge amount of information that it's telling you. And personally, I really like things like that. And hopefully you've gathered that, um, to be fair, Tinico is quite a new brand to me. And it's not that well known around the, I suppose, retail industry in the UK. Um, but I am really, really impressed with this. Um, I really didn't know what to expect when I first unboxed it and used it but hopefully you know, by the, the size of my smile that, as, as I say, I'm really impressed. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these, I have posted a couple of links below, depending where you are, you might be in the UK or other parts of the world. Uh, but these guys mainly sell via Amazon, so I have posted a couple of links. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Tenneco Floor One S3 cordless vacuum and washer. Please give us a thumbs up and click subscribe on a YouTube video. 
and leave any comments below. I do also comment whether it's good or bad about the video itself. Also, if you've got any questions on the vacuum, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these or any of the other Tinico products, then let me know and let me know what you think about it. I always appreciate the feedback. Anyway, thanks for watching.